Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is sort and array, uh, zeros, ones and twos, right? So we'll be solving this problem. But before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't done so, right? It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And I believe the channel is going to be helpful for you. So do subscribe my channel, turn on the bell icon too. And to join our telegram community the link is there in the description with that note let's get started with the problem statement so the problem says given an array of size n containing only zeros ones and twos sort the array in ascending order right so we are having an array which consists of zero one and two and what they are asking from us to sort this in ascending order for example here we have n equal to five and these are the array elements zero two one two zero then obviously if you will sort this array right so first we'll get all the zeros then ones then twos okay so even in the explanation they have mentioned the same thing that zero ones and twos are segregated into ascending order now uh, here is the example two so again the same thing is going to happen right so whatever task is that we have to complete the function sort zero one two that takes an array arr and n as input parameters and sort the array in place okay so that's what the thing is so now the expected time complexity that is expected from this question is big O of n that is linear time and constant space right and then most of you the first thing the first thought that will come to your mind is that let's let's sort this right directly using use sorting algorithm with a time complexity of n log n something the better one that you can go with right and just sort it and yes we are done right but again in the question they are asking to solve this problem to solve this question in linear time so we have to think accordingly like how we can solve this in linear time well, obviously we are not going to do this problem with the sorting approach because for that the time complexity will be big of n log n right then what else we can do right so again we'll be understanding the logic to solve this particular problem and then we'll be moving to the coding part so let's get started okay so as per the question what is expected that uh, in the left part we are having all the zeros right in the left part we are having all the zeros uh, in the middle we should have all the ones and in the right we have all the twos right so that's what the sequence that is expected right now for that what we can do is we'll be maintaining three variables three pointers what is that a uh, low mid as well as high right okay so we'll be maintaining these three uh, pointers low mid and high so initially what would happen right so for example let's say this is the array we are having and these are the elements contained in the array so let me mention the indexes 0 1 2 3 4 so initially both low and mid low and mid they would be initialized with zero it means they are pointing to the element the first element of the array and high right so that would be pointing to the last element right so that would be initialized with n minus one n is the where n is the size of the array so this is high okay now what we'll be doing okay so now mid c mid is responsible for keeping track of ones so what we will do we will make the movement for mid right so if mid will come across there are three cases either mid will come across zero or a one or a two right because there are just three elements in the array they have clearly specified so if mid has come across a zero then which variable which pointer is responsible for keeping track of the zero part obviously which one low right so if mid will come across a zero then what we'll be doing we'll be swapping the value of low as well as mid and incrementing the value of both low and mid okay if mid come across a one then obviously in the middle part what do we need we need one so we'll be incrementing the value of mid if mid come, uh, come across a two then what do we need in that case two we need in the right part right in the right part and who is responsible for keeping track of twos to segregate to high right so we'll be swapping the value of mid as well as high and decrementing the value of high okay we won't decrement we won't increment we won't do anything with the value of mid in that case where mid has come across a two because of on swapping right from the from the rightmost part on swapping we don't know what the element is or it has it has not been processed that's what the thing is let's do this let's do this to get a better understanding of the same so initially initially low and mid both are initialized with zero and high with n minus one now what is the value of if i will ask you so three cases we have right let's say a is our array so if a of mid equal equal zero 
So here you can see that is the case, right? A of zero is equal equal zero. So we will do swap swap A of mid, right, and A of low, and increment the value of low as well as mid. Okay. So uh, now on swapping, right, the both are pointing to the same element. So on swapping, the value will remain as it is, and the value of low and mid will increment. Low and mid will increment. So now they are pointing to this element at the first index, right? And now there would be scenario of what? There would be a C. Else, if A of mid is equal equal one, then in that case we'll be simply doing mid plus plus. Else, so the last case is what? That element would be two because array has zero, one, and two only, right? So this would be lying in the else part because C. Now A of mid is what two? A of mid is what two? So we'll be we'll be swapping A of mid. With a of high, and we'll be decrementing the value of high. So we'll be doing high minus minus. So what is the value at high? What is the value at high? Zero. So what will happen? Zero will come here. One, two, and two will go there. Okay. Okay. I hope that that makes sense. So high value will be decremented. High value will be decremented, and low and mid will be added to just only. Right, because this has not been processed. We have this element has came here by swapping, and it has not been processed. Right, so now we'll process this one also. So this is a of mid is what zero. So again, um, this condition would be true. So have a of mid and a of low as the values are same. So nothing is going to happen. The value will remain as it is. Right, then we are asking to increment the value of low as well as mid. So now both the value of both low and mid is going to be what two. They will be pointing to this element. Now, what is the element one, right? So this condition is going to be true. This one, a of mid equal equal one. So mid value will be incremented. So zero, zero, one, two. So low will remain here itself. Mid will remain here. And high is also there. High is also pointing to this one only because it got decremented, right? It got decremented. So the value of mid and high is equal. See, we'll continue doing this process till the time till the time mid value is less than equal to high. So right now the condition is also true. Right. So again, a of mid equal equal to this. This condition became true, right? So this else part would be executed, and a of mid and a of high is going to be swapped. So they both they both are pointing to the same element. So the value will remain as it is. Uh, and what would happen? What would happen, right? Zero zero one two two. High value will be decremented. So high will point to this element now on decrement uh, on decrementing the value, right? So here it will be pointing. And mid will remain as it is. So zero, one, two, three. So now you can see high value is two and mid value is three. So this condition is true. Mid value is less than equal to high. No right, no right. So uh, we come out of the loop, right? And we are done with the processing part. And you can see that this is the sequence that we got. We got zero, zero, one, two, two. Right? That was the expected uh, order, right? So the sorted order that was expected. So we have got that order. We have got that sequence, right? And we are done, right? And you can see. What is the time complexity for the algorithm that we use? Big O of n only, right? Big O of n only, linear time only, right? So we'll be using that particular algorithm only uh, to solve this particular problem, right? So I hope that you must be able to understand the logic, the algorithm. So let's have a look on the implementation part, and yes, we are done. So here you can see here we are having these three variables, low, mid, and high, right? And uh, we are having the loop till the time mid value is less than equal to high. So if a of mid is equal equal zero, we are swapping the value of a of mid and a of low, and incrementing mid as well as low. If a of mid is equal equal one, then simply we are incrementing the value of mid. Then the last possible case would be that a of mid is equal equal to two. Right, so that we are covering in this else part, right? So in that case, what we'll be doing is we'll be swapping the value of a of mid and a of high, and simply decrementing the value of high, right? So I hope that makes sense. I hope that you are able to understand. The logic, the code part. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have provided the code in the description in case you want to refer. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.